testimony continued in a high-profile murder trial. A police witness testified that the accused removed two alleged weapons from the graphic murder scene. Fort Carey is following the case for us. Scenes of crime investigator Detective Corporal Jermaine Stubbs testified during court proceedings Tuesday that he removed two bloodstained cutlasses, one from a bedroom and the other from a bathroom, in the South Beach apartment when Nellie Mae Brown Cox's lifeless body was discovered back on April 7th of 2011. The officer testified that one of the cutlasses had the words, you next, George Sawyer, inscribed on one side, and the words, this is what cheetahs get, on the other side, while the other cutlass, had cheetahs and liars inscribed on it. The detective indicated there was a gold pillow covering Brown Cox's half-naked blood-stained body. He stated that she had severe wounds about the body and face and that some of her fingers had been severed, which he later discovered beneath a clothes basket in the bathroom. Another police witness also testified that Brown Cox's right hand had been severed and her left arm partially severed. Meantime, a close friend of Prince Hebron, Anya James, told jurors that Hebron confessed to her over the phone that he had killed Brown Cox because she broke his heart and cheated on him. James told the court that she and her husband developed a friendship with Hebron as he was building their family home. As a result, she said she and her husband sometimes traveled with the couple to the United United States to buy material for their new houses, as Hebron was also building a home for Brown Cox in Kalani Lakes. She described Hebron as a humble, cheerful person who had introduced Brown Cox as his expected. James also testified that Brown Cox was a worldly woman who could get Hebron to do anything for her. The trial continues Wednesday before Justice Indra Charles. Muyo Desil heads the defense team. For Inquiry, Citizens Network News.